Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part episode excuse me episode seven of my ghostly roommate so in the last part at the end of the last part we finally got our original lead back Jung Mi she's a little embarrassed about the argument that she had with um Eun-hee so shouldn't have said that Jung Mi is not sure what came over her but she just used forbidden words what was she thinking and that's because she's good manners as well but also because she was uncomfortable and because she has uncontrolled emotions she reacted that way that she did but who won't react that way when you come back and find out that you've been possessed she's gonna go ahead and head to sleep but i left umhi at the restaurant because i'm trying to keep them separated right now since they had that whole argument and um Jung Mi should wake up pretty early actually i was gonna just go ahead and skip through but she's probably gonna be up soon i think if not i might just go ahead and skip through all right guys so it is the morning i did kind of skip through and in that process um he came home and sleeping on the couch because she doesn't have an official bed yet um john Mi needs to go eat some breakfast we're gonna have her go ahead and use the bathroom and brush her teeth and then she'll come and serve some breakfast oh we do need to pay rent i forgot to pay rent in the last episode so matter of fact we need to pay go ahead and pay rent before is that Uni's puddle over there <laughs> which one is ours yes that pay rent Six hundred dollars for rent, but hey, it's a pretty nice apartment despite the hiccups that we keep having. And see, in that process of when he being taken over Jong Mi, Jong Mi doesn't realize that she's met her neighbor Sun Woo. So see him coming to exercise, she's confused about why he's here. She's like, I don't know you. Um, the friendship bar is still gonna show, but um. She's gonna decline. I don't know you. I'm not gonna work out with you. Like, I don't know you like that. We haven't even met yet. Who are you? Why are you coming to my apartment? Okay, and then we're going to... More choices. Serve some brunch. Serve some serve French toast. Like I said, because Jami is good manners, so she does feel bad about arguing with Unhi. But, like I said, who wouldn't be upset about being possessed unwillingly? But, as you can see, she's not really mad anymore. And I don't think she's going to stay mad at Unhi for long. Especially once she finds out Unhi's backstory. We paid rent, did we not? Don't come, or is that an old notification that I'm just now saying? Because I know, right, we paid rent. Because I will delete you. <laughs> oh, we're lagging. Okay. And she's making breakfast, thinking about her mom. Now, I'm surprised that her ha apartment has not been haunted since I actually started recording. She would get haunted by her parents um, before I actually started recording for the, um, for the series. 
like every other night it would either be her dad or her mom would come and haunt and they would want to hang out and stuff but they still text and call her to hang out but they don't come to her apartment and she has the haunted apartment trait so i'm surprised but maybe because unhi is here is why she's not i mean they are not coming by because there's already a ghost considered on the lot and it looks like unhi is kind of regretting what she did too because she keeps waking up sad um let's see she wants to scare a sim so she oh i wasn't i'll go ahead and possess girl do you What's cooking good looking? It smells great in the hallway. What are you cooking? Can, ooh. <laughs> what are you cooking? And can I have some? I am great company. Like I said, John Lee is a loner. She likes to be by herself, but she's feeling all kind of... She's got all kind of bad moods right now. Startled by ghosts. Contact with Supernatural will unnerve you. Will unnerve... Think, game. <laughs> unnerve the strongest of souls. She, and she's got the stranger danger because she doesn't know Unhi enough to not feel that yet. Maybe I should try to get them to know each other a little bit in this part so they can be a little bit comfortable with each other. I mean, Unhi did possess her. Um, oh, I forgot ghosts need to take care of needs as well. Come and pee like a champion. I guess you don't want to be disturbed. No, not really, not today. And I guess you could take a shower. I always forget that ghosts still actually have to take care of needs. But like I said in earlier episodes, I don't, I've never played with guest ghost until this LP. So all these ghost interactions are kind of new to me. Lord, she's going to take forever because she's feeling all kinds of upset. And because Unhi's puddles are everywhere from her, because she's a goat, a sim that drowned to death, she's going to forever leak water everywhere. But I don't know if she can mop this stuff up with it being under her couch. She doesn't have the best bed either, so she gets uncomfortable from that. Let's see, do we need to take care of these? It's coming weed and water your plants. Because Sun Restaurant doesn't need to be open just yet. Y'all kind of mad. She's like, she's still here. <laughs> she's not gonna go anywhere, John I Ming. You gotta talk to her. Oh, you wanna be friendly with him? Yeah, because he seems like he has a crush on his boss, but it's not working out that way. Because I feel like Jami was feeling so. Sojun, Sojun a little bit more than Yugum, and Yugum seems to be feeling her, and she's not in the mood for that. Um, I think we will open the restaurant today, though, so we will. Let's come and get to know her. Let's at least try to get to know her a little bit. Because she's feeling confident now, enjoying solitude. Well, you're not going to have that for much longer. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Because once you get to know her, I don't think she'll have the Stranger Danger moolet anymore. She's feeling confident. Um, Tell her an unbelievable story. Tell her at least what you can remember about your death. I look like they still having an argument. <laughs> but I think when he wants to kind of try to convince her of some things to help her out, like telling her, like, you got to help me with some things, like deep conversation with her. Like, I want you to help me f solve my death. I don't know what's happened. Ooh, propose a crazy scheme, right? Let me possess you every once in a while so that I can really figure out what happened to me. Ah, 
let them have some more conversation. I want them to bond a little bit. Maybe not be completely friends yet. Discuss world peace with her. Uh-oh. Looks like Jami's not taking to that scheme that she's trying to... Yep, awkward encounter. She's not feeling it. Should I have them argue again? Ooh, they are not feeling each other at all. Well, argues more so her telling her about she likes to be alone. She doesn't want to be out and help people. She rather just stays her own business. I don't want you to yell at her all the time. Yeah, they are not having it. They are not getting along at all. What to do? What to do? I don't know. I wanted them to be friends, but I guess it's not going to work out right now. Jami's kind of over it. She's going to go ahead and travel to her restaurant so that she can get it open. All right, guys. Here we are at the Sun Restaurant. And as you can see, Jami's already in a better mood. Um, she's about to go watch some TV because she needs to boost her fun. But we actually need to open up the restaurant. Let's just get this place up and for business and get it up and running. Because we did okay yesterday. But actually, she matter of fact, I forgot. We need to take care of the employees because they were not too happy yesterday. So as they come in, I think, I don't know. So yeah, she's still feeling issues about the ghost. Hold on. Let's see. Um, she's already at a level three. We'll praise her. I guess we can promote her. I guess promote everybody so we can get some everybody back on better moods. I don't know. Because who was, I forgot, I didn't check. I didn't remember from the last part. Manage employees. Let's see. Let's see neutral. 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 Everybody's neutral. So we can, if we can get them in a better mood with today's shift, hopefully we can start bonding with our employees. Well, oh, we had to do this upstairs, guys. Oh, that's fine. No, we don't have any customers just yet. And you did want to be nice to Yugum. Yungum. Yung Yung. I keep calling him the wrong name. Wonderful. I ooh, I was reading that. Wonderful. I tried to be a model employee and it looks like my efforts is paying off. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we need to manage him. Praise him. And I guess we will he needs more training though, but we will Go ahead and promote him as well. We'll promote everybody because they all had to deal with an unnatural boss for a while. What? What was that? Oh, that's probably from promoting. Yes, I knew this day would come if I just kept working hard. Thank you, Miss Chow. I will. I won't let you down. I mean, I know you want to do a little bit more with her, but it's not happening. Um, let's. Come and praise her. And we'll um, promote her as well. We need to start welcoming our guests, but we'll let our employees kind of get them seated. All these vampires. Is she coming down the stairs? Okay. I guess because she's kind of working. We'll probably have to wait until we get some more people seated to talk to her. Um, can we hire another chef now? Because I feel like that's probably going to help us too. Let's check perk points. Um, we don't need an additional waiter. Additional chef. Yes, let's... Additional chef. Okay. And let's go ahead and go to the managed employees. And we will hire... Why is it nothing but aliens in the option? Hmm. 
He has a good mix out in a leash nair. Can we get any other options, guys? Because nobody's really. Yeah, it's still gonna keep giving me the same people. Why he look like he got no clothes on? He better come in a uniform. I have to figure out why this game keeps generating so many aliens because it's not, it shouldn't be generating this many aliens. I need to check my settings because this makes no sense. Jongmi has hired a new chef. Nalish Nair will arrive for his first shift as soon as possible. We, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll work on that. Did we praise him? I, yeah, because the music didn't go off. I don't think we we praised him, but I don't think we promoted him. Promote him. Okay. We are okay. We need to start welcoming some of these guests. Management, welcome. Why is it only generated Sims coming to this restaurant? Which I don't mind. But it's just so many sims in this world. Like it's always just generated sims. See, she's feeling stressed out because there's so many people here. A promotion for me? I, well, of course. It's about time. I mean, thank you, Miss Chow. It's an honor. Really? Someone sounds like they're full of themselves. Okay. Maybe if I switch from this angle, because everybody seems to be crowded in this area like y'all can't sit down. Should we, um, why there's food in, clean this up. Clean up. Clean up, clean all of this up. Does it help, help you get unstressed because you'll be away from people? Because like, are you seating all these people? Because nobody's sitting at their table. Excuse me. Okay, and, oh, I need to probably make sure the new chef gets some training because he has mythology, but he needs to work on his cooking skill. Um, check up on him and then we will pay for, no, 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 was that promoting him? I don't want to, no, no, no. We don't need to promote him just yet. He needs to go for training. Pay for training. Brief training. And we need to promote so in, but she's kind of busy. I'm going to have to wait till I disallow new guests, new customers. And then, so we need to start, we need to welcome more people. I want this to be a successful day. It would be nice if we can get the five star work. What is work? It's just a means to an end. Offsite training, will there be an obstacle course? Don't tell me. I want to be a surprise. I want it to be a surprise. Okay, we just lost 150. I hope it's because of all these people's orders going. Okay, now we're making that money. I'm not too worried about business funds, but I do want this restaurant to be successful. Because the, I've opened a few other restaurants in other days, but nothing's really, they weren't successful. Like, they had good stars, but we weren't making money. Um, check on table. Management. Check on table. Here's our landlord. Management. Welcome. I hope you brought your appetite. Let me know if you need a rec need a recommendation today. Okay. Ooh, let me check on the quality of their food, though. We Ooh, we're getting some excellent food. Good, good, good. Thank you, chefs. Um, Anybody else we need to welcome? Oh, we got an error log. I don't know what for. Um, Management. Oh, let, let them get seated first. I think I need to add a four-seater table, though. I might do that before the next episode or the next time we are going to be in the restaurant. Because we won't be in the restaurant in, in a lot episode, in a lot more episodes, I think. I think because what I have planned for this series, I don't think there will be... Oh, Lord. She is stressed out and not having fun. Come in. Um, watch some cooking shows for ideas. 
but that will help your cooking skill and boost your fun at the same time. I think the restaurant's doing pretty well so far. Um, we will probably disallow new customers at nine. Okay, now you buy your lonesome, right? There you go, you should be in a better mood now. Okay, we let them go, let's see. Okay, our chefs are knocking these, these okay, we're doing good. I wanna see if we can go up a little bit in some stars though. We haven't had a critic come in a while, so it, it may take us a while to get up to five though. But this is good. Suwi so looks like she's doing good over there with our um with our customers coming. Why are you embarrassed? Yo, why are you embarrassed? What is this? Socially awkward. Sims who are loners have a tough time being social. Any awkward situation is enough to embarrass them. But you were up here. So why are you embarrassed that you got stressed out about your own restaurant? Is that what it is? I understand that girl it's all right it happens but yeah with that guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here though because we didn't have a lot happen but we finally got to see the return of her and trying to get her restaurant back up to what it is back to what it's used to being so go ahead and leave a comment down below hit that like button because you know you want to subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell button so you get notified every time i upload a video and until next time guys Bye. Too simple,